This segment is brought to you by M. Bombay Cigars. M. Bombay Cigars represent the most admired cigar culture of Cuba. They select the best of the best quality tobacco to use in the aging process. M. Bombay Cigars are then rolled in Costa Rica by some of the most experienced cigar rollers, giving it a unique smoking experience. The band portrays the detailed and artistic nature of our small industry. Try the M. Bombay Casera, M. Bombay Mora, and the recently released M. Bombay Habano. M. Bombay Cigars, where the cigar is a way of life. Welcome back, everyone, to the Stogie Geek Show. And speaking of M. Bombay Cigars, Mel Shaw is here with us. Mel, welcome back to the show. Nice to have you on, as you always. Doing? Yes, hello. Ciao. Nice to have you on. Uh, Mel, where's, where's Stogie Santa? Will, are you smoking this one as well? I'm smoking the, yes, the Nika. Yeah, so Mel, tell us about the cigar that we're all smoking uh, tonight. This is a, a new release uh, from M Bombay. Yes, it's a it's a limited release. Um, we're gonna release only like around two thousand six of those every year. Um, Nika is um, a line extension in the Quesera. Uh, the size was a launch del grande now. And um, <laughs> we came up with that before. It's a new size. We came. It was. We gave it to Mel. We came up with a new size. I called it a Lonsdale Grande. Stokey Santa okay. gave me that. That was like a Braden look. You gave me, <laughs> he gave me the Braden look right there. <laughs> he gave me this look like I was crazy. But it's a lot. So yeah. what's the size in the cigar, Mel? The, the size is five and a half inches by 44. Okay. And five and a, five and a three quarters, if I'm... I correct myself. It's five and three quarters by forty-four. Um, the blending is we're using uh, um, the same wrapper as uh, uh, as the Quesada line. The, it's a Ecuadorian Connecticut Desperado. The filler of this cigar, filler and binder of these cigars, they have been aged for like around three and a half to four years longer. Um, in uh, in the cedar and sandalwood chests uh, at our at our factory. Um, so Mel, it's the same binder and filler as the regular Casera line, but the only difference is it's been aged longer. Very long, four four years, four years uh, uh, aged longer. And on top of it, the cigars were ready in probably January, January February. So it's been cedar infused and packed in cedar cans for almost ten months now. Wow. Um, so it, it just kind of like the, 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 the floral character of the cigar, the floral, floral characteristics that mm. the sandalwood and cedar chests give to the Peruvian and the Dominican tobacco, it kind of like enhances there. Uh, the spice tone on that is a lot more milder compared to a regular quesada line. So keeping it at medium, medium flavor, medium, medium body. But the retro hill on the cigar is... Uh, you tell me. Well, I I think it's very good. I, you know, well, I get at, the cedar. I get that cedar on the retro mm-hmm. hail, and it, it's a little bit of floral in there as well. It's mm-hmm. interesting. As I, I smoked two, this is the second one I smoked from uh, the this Nika one, and uh-huh. the complexities. Is speaking of aged tobacco, it changes up a lot as you go through the cigar, uh, which is sure. one of the characteristics I appreciate. And it really keeps my attention, so I really like it. Mm-hmm. I got a little tea component to it. Yeah, there's a lot going on, like a tea component, a cedar component, like Will said. I, I could totally the spice yeah. I get on a more of a retro hill than I do the regular cigar itself. Yeah, is that an Indian spice? Is that what we were saying before the show? Is that what you were saying? <laughs> what? Yeah, yes, it's Indian spices. What? What, what? Where does that come? Where does that come from? India. I, I India. It, it comes from India, right? <laughs> I told them we were not going here. <laughs> Well, I went there because I thought it, I thought it was funny. But you were on a different show, and they were talking to you about Indian spice, right? Well, yeah, yeah, and <laughs> no, were, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Is yeah. that how you would characterize the spice smell, or is that? I think no, I, I just, think you spot on. No. <laughs> I, well, seriously, seriously. No. no. Mel no, no, was a longtime sponsor of the show here. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> no, no. We like him. No, the, 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 the spice part, well, 
it was it, it was definitely sparked by 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 somebody at another show but but when he when he kind of like put me in the same boat as like okay the bobble had indians and you know like you have the indian food and things like that so <laughs> well it, it, it's okay yeah yeah if i if, if somebody says indian spice bang on no problem as long as i enjoy it right yeah, yeah exactly. exactly no what the exactly. whole thing is no, the no, the, on a serious note now the, the spice level is at a very probably mild medium spice it's not a it's, heavy it's spice it's very balanced it's very balanced right. it's, yeah, and so no, if I you agree. were to say to yeah. someone you've got to be careful when you say spice to someone to a cigar what do they do some people i don't want to smoke it right come afraid yeah. of, uh, they where, fear where spice on yeah, this yeah, yeah. cigar if they were to smoke it they could deal with it yeah no i agree it's not it's not the no, main not component all. of the cigar it's a subtle subtle spice to it it, it really is seriously it, it adds a nice component of spice, but it doesn't. It, it's not the main component. It, it doesn't, doesn't overwhelm you. Exactly. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, no, that, that that was that, that was our you know like uh, from from get go, all of the blends that that we make, you know what we want to focus is a quite a balanced cigar, not too spicy, not too sweet, not too strong, not too mm -hmm. mild. Um, may it be a classic or a newest Habano or even a Vermora and Quesada, the, 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 the higher price point cigar. The, the, the idea is to have them smoke that cigar for 45 minutes or, or an hour, depending on the size. I want the customer to enjoy the cigar, not take home, oh, that cigar was too spicy or this cigar was too sweet. Right. Uh, it, it knocked me out. No, I, I, I want them to if they're spending $10, $15 on a cigar, they, I want to give them that complete package. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they should enjoy all the flavors that, that, can, that can comprehend in a cigar. Mm -hmm. um, that, that, that was our, uh, our main, main idea to, to focus cigars in that, in that genre. Yeah. I, I, so, so what I like about it is it, it's a cedar with the spice. It's a nice combination. Mm -hmm. It truly is. It's a nice balanced combination. Every time when you think you're getting too woody, the spice comes in. It it, yep. it, it, it complements each other. It, it's nice. It's a nice job. It really is. Mel, what Thank you. what Thank is you. the what is the blend components of the Casera for our listeners? The the the, the filler. Uh, sorry, the, the the wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut Desmorado. Um, the the uh, the binder is Dominican Republic. And the filler is Dominican Republic with Peruvian. Now, from when you were on the show last time, Peruvian's kind of like a staple tobacco that you use in across all your lines, correct? Well, how you know uh, the the Peruvian tobacco? The, it's a it's a uh, it's a seco that I use from the, uh, of Peruvian oh, uh, the Peruvian mm. plant. Um, and and the way that you know normally how secos are are are. are in a normal factory, you know, like Seco is used just for a filler to burn. Um, the, mm. I, the, my findings were that, you know, like if you, if you age them properly, if you, uh, uh, if, if you catch them at the prime, prime aging technique or, or, or fermentation technique, you know, it would add on more flavor to the cigar. And, and, and I, uh, I have been of the opinion that that floralness, that 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 um, that that spooky flavor, is a big is a big result of this Peruvian tobacco. It just when you take that Peruvian tobacco away, it kind of like cigar becomes one dimension. You know, it's a still a great cigar, but if you want to kick in like that floral notes, that sweetness that is it is giving, that I contributed to the Peruvian tobacco. Mel, I really, I think your description of Peruvian tobacco as being floral, I think is yeah. spot on. And yep. one of the blends that we've smoked, uh, Will and I uh, actually had the uh, privilege of smoking all of the individual um, peritos or the filler components, where one of them mm -hmm. is Peruvian, is the La Oro Preferidos blend. Mm -hmm. So we yes. get to smoke one cigar of all Peruvian tobacco. And, and the, when you say floral... When you nailed smoked it. that Perito, you nailed it, dude. Like yep. that's, and, and, that's and the really, difference between really this it. floral and a, and a Cuban floral, floral taste 
is totally different. Because your tolerance Stogie Center for floral, it's I know not, it is not. If it gets too floral, Stogie Center is the first I can't one. Do, I can't I've do given it. Stogie Center some Cuban cigars, and he's like, dude, I can't it, deal with it. He's like, it's smoking perfume. He's like, I can't deal with it. When Will and right. I smoked that Peruvian tobacco from the Preferidos blend, we were like, wow, like. I this would smoke good. this on its own. Like, it's really yeah. good on its own. So uh, to hear you say that, Melanie, how you incorporate it in the blend, I think is, is spot on, and I think it really works in this blend very well. Oh, yeah. You, you know, um, um, this the, 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 this particular Peruvian uh, Peruvian uh, blending, you know, um, I, 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 I did definitely uh, inspire from um, a very long time ago, uh, Bahia. Mm-hmm. Oh. Bahia White Temple. That's going uh, back. You guys were big on Bahia in your shop. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I hear so, stories oh, about Bahia. Is, yeah, and, uh, and, and that that's got when it, you know, when when I got deep into it about about the blending thing, um, uh, I did not get a chance. I I, 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 when I went to Costa Rica for the first time, you know that that I wanted to meet Don Douglas. But somehow I, 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 I'm still not able to find him, or I, I don't know where he is. Uh, but, was that the guy uh, behind Bahia? No. Oh. Yeah, that, that was the guy oh. behind the Bahia. Yeah, yeah. Not all of it, but and he was one of the one guys of the behind. Okay, okay, okay. Right, right. And, and so, but, but that, that, that Peruvian oomph, that Peruvian spookiness, you know, like that, 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 that off character, that, that floral notes were spot on on that Bahia gold label and I, the white label. I can see, the, I I can see his that. size, his, why he didn't go with the Lancero on this size. I can see why. Did he go with the yeah, yeah, Lonsdale yeah. Grande? I, 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 I can see why he went to the Lonsdale side. He gives a little bit more tobacco to play with. <laughs> yeah. No, you do yeah, have a Lancero in this, well, don't you? Well, it is, but not a true Lancero. You know, I call it a Lonsdale Grande. That's why I call it a Lancero. Lonsdale Grande. It's a Lonsdale Grande. I look at a 38 as a Lancero, but... But this size, so it's a bigger red gauge, so it's a Lonsdale no, Grande. I, I, I'm just trying to say this size or is. The is perfect. it a petite Lancero? No, it wouldn't be a petite no, Lancero because no. it'd be shorter. No, he, he does have a Lancero. Short Lancero, Lonsdale Grande. Yeah, no, short I, Lancero. There you go. Let's put, it's a good short fucking smoke. Like, a yeah. short, yeah. like, yeah. like instead of a short robusto, whatever. Short what I'm trying to, what the point I'm trying to bring. <laughs> The size, I can see why he did this size. It, I think you're right. He, he, he added a little yeah, bit more size. tobacco yes. to, to what he wants to achieve in this blend. That's what I'm saying. Yep, yep. Actually, you have the number four, which is the 44. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. The number four, he has a number four in number the Casera. Yeah, yes, yes. That's what yes. I was yes. saying. Uh, yep. We have that in Casera and uh, as well as in Mora. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Mel, you just mentioned Casera and Mora. So, uh, for those of uh, our listeners... Um, what is the co- yeah, yeah, what is the components of the Mora blend and how do they differ? Well, Mora is, first of all, um, uh, a Dominican uh, Corojo wrapper. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, 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 the filler and the, the, in, in, in the filler, we have added Ecuador also. Mm-hmm. So Dominican Corojo Ecuador, uh, Ecuador as a, uh, um, Ecuador as a, as a as a binder, and in the in the filler, Ecuador, Peru, and Dominican Republic. Mm-hmm. Uh, the I'm u- the in the Mora line, I'm using the Ecuador Lijero. Uh, Ecuador Lijero is in the wrapper or in no, the binder? Filler? Said. In the in, in the filler. In the filler. Oh, okay. I said binder. Okay. No, a binder is also Ecuador. Yeah. Binder is Ecuador. Yeah. But in the filler, the, uh, instead of the Peruvian uh, li, uh, 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 Peruvian Lijero uh, for Quesera, I'm using Ecuador Lijero in, in, in the, in the Mora. Mm-hmm. And so does that blend uh, in the Mora tend to be on a strength meter, tend to be a little stronger? Um, no, it was, uh, um, the decision was, it, it, it kind of like adds on to to a slightly more, sweeter tone than the Peruvian uh, 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 when when the Peruvian and uh, Dominican fillers were combined with the, that Ecuadorian Lijero. It was more more sweeter, more subtle sweeter because I wanted to emphasize the the Dominican Corojo's uh, sweetness and that twanginess in, 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 in the Mora line, uh, that, that silky texture. Uh, I wanted to portray it more so I had to back it up with slightly a different kind of sweetness and not Peruvian sweetness that we use for the queso. 
Gotcha. Yeah. And sweetness. Mel, is, in, okay. in the Casera line, we were talking just before this segment about how I went to a local shop and I purchased uh, this torpedo in the Casera that had the shaggy foot, and I reviewed it on the show. Can you, you tell us about that size uh, and, and how it embodies the blend? It was I'm, I'm, it, it, it was a pyramid, right? Not a torpedo. Pyramid, yes, correct. Pyramid, it was a... P- pyramid um, Grande. <laughs> oh, it was Pyramid Grande. It, it, was, it was Pyramid Grande. You know, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's a long cigar. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, long. <laughs> it is a big, it's a big cigar. Oh, you could no. call it a Pyramid Grande. Oh, God. We can, we, With Indian spice um, if you wanted. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, we, we added some Indian spice to it, you know. It, it, look, 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 it was good. Mel, if you could see the face on Coop now, <laughs> I tell you what, he's saying, What the hell did I, I, I do? I, I I cannot I don't know how uh, how Nick has programmed me, but I can I can see the computer boards from you. Yeah. I cannot see your faces. You're lucky. <laughs> You're lucky. I tell you what. Oh, I love shit like this. So sorry, Mel. So it is a, a pyramid with a shaggy foot. Tell us about that exactly. size and the blend in the Casera and how it, uh, it all comes get... together. It's a really good cigar. Oh, well, the, 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 the idea for the pyramid was um, it, it starts with almost 50, 54 to 56 ringgit, mm-hmm. the, the, the starting point. Now, the, the shaggy foot, we, we deliberately left it out, you know, to emphasize, to portray the fillers and the binders that you're using. There you go. It it gives say, it a, it, it, for a shaggy foot, dude, extremely enjoyable. Like, I lit up the shaggy foot and no, usually... No harshness. Yeah, no, it's kind of like a mixed experience. But understand what yeah. he just said, though, what he's trying to, what he's trying to prove the point? Yeah. like yeah, Seriously. Get the flavors from the filler yeah. and the binder mm-hmm. and right. then experience the wrapper. But yeah. I, sometimes when it's just the filler or uh, filler and binder... It's kind of like weird, right? It can be either harsh or. And no- when you're blending cigars, sometimes that's when you smoke something without a wrapper on it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. It, 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 to, to enhance it. But that in way. this stick, it, it was uh, the tobacco, the uh, characteristic was very smooth, which is kind of weird for a shaggy foot. So I, I kind of, my hat's off to you. You know like, something, Mel? I, what I love about, what I, I really do about pyramids, that the great smoking, the last two inches of that pyramid. Yeah, it to really me, all comes just together. stands out on that. Yeah. And if I told us made correctly like that on that pyramid, mm-hmm. Mel, I love it. It brings everything together. The last two or three inches of that cigar, it's, it's, it just says everything about yep. the cigar for me, anyway. No, I agree. Good, good. No, and, 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 and that, 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 especially that co- conical shape, you know, uh, that, that gradual, you know, like if you have a torpedo, if you have a, if you have a torpedo. And, and and that 54, 52 ring gauge that when it subsides all the way to down, you know, like where two or three inches are left out, and then it starts into a, a conical shape, mm-hmm. like a bellicoso or a torpedo, the, the regular torpedoes. Correct. Um, and we instead of that, we wanted to give you, give that expert, expression of of how the cigar burns or how you enjoy the cigar when it goes down as as tapering it. Mm-hmm. The, the coolness of the smoke, uh, the complexity that 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 more wrapper gives you as you go down, it, 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 it kind of like it it, it it actually helped me prove the point that you know uh, um, that 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 wrapper also wrap you know along with filler and binder how how it changes how, uh, you know like with the concentration of more wrapper with lesser filler and mm-hmm. when you start the cigar with. With with more filler and lesser wrapper, yeah, the that, ratio. that transition, mm. that transition work, work, it, it it portrays it better. Oh, absolutely. Now, Mel, do you see, in general, the cigar smoking world in general is looking for more full flavor than full body? Well, I, I'm not against. Uh, well, no, uh, I I put it in a different way, sir. So, um, um, The the the, the flavor, you know, the, many many shops I go, many shops I go, and 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 and, and you know like oh I you know I, I when I talk to the customers it, it's more about oh I like this cigar or, uh, because it is a powerhouse. Mm-hmm. I like this cigar because it is a powerhouse. It is spicy, full body. 
But the same guy, the same guy who tells me that I smoke the spiciest cigar on the on 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 on, on, on the on, on the shelf, when I give my lightest spiciest cigar, which is a Kesara or or Ecuadorian Connecticut classic, okay, they it, it, it is when they finish the cigar, you know, you can you can see that in the face that okay, I have tried, you know, like I was successful in, in making that person understand. It is not only about the spice. People or, or, or more customers here, uh, you know, uh, what, what we feel, what I feel is, is they, they, there was no, there was mild cigar trend with, you know, early 90s and things like that. And all of a sudden it just boomed out to the, the full body and the full spice right. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. There was no transition. Correct. So when you when 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 a cigar is offered with with all those all those characteristics, you know it it, 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 it opens their eyes. You can you can you can literally see them that you know like okay they, they were missing that you know like what is in between you mm -hmm. know they want to enjoy it you know the same cigar that uh, this person enjoys if you give to somebody else who smokes uh, a, a milder who tends to like a more milder it's like oh my god this, this guy is trying to kill me. So it, it's it it was at extreme. So that 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 middle that that where where the flavors are balanced was I don't see that in too many cigars on, on in the market right now. Um, and and it, it's 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 uh, it is totally wrong to say that you know like the consumers are are strictly going towards the full bodiedness or mild cigar. It, it's it's more about give them more options. Then let them pick. You know, if you want to eat food, you know, it, it, you don't go with the spiciest food or the sweetest food. You know, you you go with something balanced, which has some salt, some pepper in it, some Indian spices in it, kind of thing like that. And you know, like everybody enjoys it. Well, I I think it's almost it's kind of like bacon, right? Like you take the you, you take the mild cigar smoker, and you take the really heavy strong full-bodied cigar smoker if you can make a cigar that they both like like you got a winner yeah, and, and that, to me it's kind of like bacon like everyone likes bacon i mean unless you're vegetarian but everyone likes bacon and in well, a lot of your i think profiles kind of fit that if you're a mild milder cigar smoker you're gonna like the casera blend like i do if you're a more full-bodied cigar smoker you're gonna get a lot of flavor out of that and if you can uh, appeal to both uh, of the uh, ends both of the spectrum. Worlds, but I think what I'm trying to say is that you can put Lajero in a cigar and bomb it out, right? And then sometimes you can get a, a Connecticut cigar that's so mild you can't smoke it. Yeah. What I'm seeing in the sh uh, in my shop mm -hmm. is is it's all about flavor. And I know what you mean. I know what Mel's trying to get at. It, you're trying to get best of both worlds, and you can right. blend differently. Right. But I, I just see a trend of, of, of where... Um, you don't have to have that spice that's going to knock you over and overwhelm. You just want that, mm. you know, good flavor in a cigar. You know, uh, right. all these different, you know, rosemary and cloves and all this. I just don't get it. Just give me a cigar that tastes Unsweetened good. marshmallow? Unsweetened marshmallow. Who we'll come up with that one? <laughs> we were talking somebody, about you, Will, with your unsweetened marshmallow. Hey, Mel, do you ever hear unsweetened marshmallow? <laughs> unsweetened marshmallow. <laughs> I that, thought that like What's it taste like? See, we see you. He gets it. <laughs> it's like when you get a bag of marshmallows, but instead of eating the marshmallows, you eat the bag that they it's came like in. It's like eating some more without a marshmallow. Okay. Sorry, Will. We, you had to fall on the sword for that no, one. Mel, when you do your blending on each and every one of your different cigars, do you have a Vitola that you go to to, to – um, a favorite, like if you have a Corona, Robusto, or whatever size you like to smoke yeah. the most when you do your blending? Uh, when I start the cigar, it, it, it should not be more than 47, 48 ring gauge. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And then from there, I, you know, like when we when we want to increase the size, like we increase the size in Quesera to a 58 ring gauge. It was then proportion and then, you know, like a lot of trial and error to, to, to get gain, gain that flavor. But no, my ideal size is 48 ring gauge and, you know, start with like a short Robusto kind of thing, uh, or, or four and a half to five inches long. And then that, 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 that kind of like is my staple. Mm -hmm. And that I would judge that, okay, I need to take something out if I want to reduce the size. 
mm-hmm. uh, uh, to a Corona or a Lonsdale or, 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 or Lonsdale Grande or, or even a Lancel. Mm-hmm. And it prop it up a bit more in the filler how I want to want want to change it to a factory gauge to a 52 or a 60. Right, you're going to do the ratios of what you want to do. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. No, so, so Mel, what, what do you have coming out next, uh, aside from this cigar that we're smoking tonight? Oh, I hate that question. Uh, yeah, I know. Everyone hates hate, that question. I hate that question. Everyone on enjoy, the show hates enjoy that enjoy question. What you smoke I know. And what's the next? The people answering that, but the people that listen and watch love that question. <laughs> I, I just, oh. Well, because yeah. I, oh I, 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 go ahead. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Enjoy. No, 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 he, no. he just put a great cigar, right? <laughs> He's got a limited edition. He's doing a great job. Anyway, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. You know. No, no, no. The, 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 now the idea is to increase number of shops. Now that, that, there you that, go. that's where we are. You know, like rather than rather than uh, uh, um, uh, coming out with a different blend um, every six months or every year, mm-hmm. the, the, I'm happy with with the, the ingredients that I have and the and and and, and, and the cigar that we have prepared. We are now. We are now more focusing on on strengthening our relationships with our existing existing stores. How to instead of having ten facings, how to add on two more facings uh, and, and things like that. You know, like work with the retailer. It, 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 how 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 it, how would M Bombay help them to make to make a, a, an extra sale? That 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 is what our uh, our thing is now. That, that's a great goal uh, because I think you, as you know, Mel. <clears throat> When you add so many facings on to a cigar, as you know, you go into a different shop, they only have limited spots to have their cigars. So when you come out yeah, yeah. with so many facings, you it's almost it's not advantageous for you in, in, in the long run when, when you're adding on another one and another one and another one. It's just it sometimes yeah. it can be counterproductive to you and the consumer. Mm. No, no, it, 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 you know, like we 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 had we we we. We, when we started, you know, like within within the first eight nine months, we came all the blends, and 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 the idea was, you know, like to 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 offer that this is what we we have like around thirty, including the 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 Kesera now we have like thirty three vitolas, wow. uh, including Kesera Nika. We have thirty three vitolas. But the idea is not to. A very lot, very lot. But the, the, hear me out, sir. It's not about um, go to a retail store and have them carry all 33. You know, uh, uh, we have many stores that focus on thicker engages. That you know, like okay, the customers that they have, they they come and ask normally for a thicker engage. Um, uh, some of the sh- shops uh, 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 focus more on the on the torpedoes or the bellicosos that we have. Some of the shops that we have is the more the perfecto sizes are selling hand over fist. Mm-hmm. Uh, some uh, um, a couple of shops in in Houston, uh, in Houston or Texas actually, they 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 focus more on the lanceros. So wherever we are, you know, like we want to offer the offer offer not with an intention. Oh, here you are with 31 facings or 30 facings, and you have we, we want you to go to 30 facings. Mm-hmm. That is not an idea. That, mm-hmm. that, that it is not it it doesn't help. The brand, nor it does not, it does help the retailer. Mm-hmm. We want you to focus, or the retailer to focus on the sizes that move properly in your shop. That's 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 the ideal way. Now, Coop saying that yeah. in the Northeast, I could, I, I don't, I, I, okay, I'll throw a padrone just mm-hmm. just for the sake of saying that. I cannot mm-hmm. give away, and I, I smoke some great bellicosos. Now, down mm. North Carolina, Bellicosos, do they sell very well down there, Coop? They don't, although it, there are it, there are some that that will sell better than others. Like I tend to see the box press ones sell a little better, but it's still most folks are still a Toro. It's very much a Toro town here. I, I just I, because I I just don't get it sometimes. I just don't. Because there's some great bellicosos out there. Yeah, really are. I was going to say, in some, in some brands, oh, the bellicosos. I, I don't awesome. want to get into the brand. With, with, yeah. with no, but but some, what I'm trying yeah. to say is just that I think they look at it and they don't understand that Vitola, the work behind that, that's a hard cigar to roll. And if they just, and instead of looking at the, I think they, they look at the shape. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's right or wrong. 
And I try, and I try, like, you, you hand sell Lanceros? I have a harder time selling a Bellicoso than a Lancero. I would agree with that, because I think the consumer looks at it, and they're concerned about the draw and the smoke production, because they see it going from thick to thin, and they're like, oh, how am I going to get the smoke and the draw production no, from that size, what, what, right? Not only that, what drives me completely insane, I mean, with the, I want to go, go over the counter and strangle them. They'll get the bellicoso, and they'll take two inches off the, the cigar, uh, and they'll cut it. Uh, why did you buy this? Why, why did you buy this cigar? And then they come you back, and you're like, they're it like, the why, whole... is it un, why is it unraveling yeah. on me? <laughs> and I just think that, I, I'll tell you what, right now. Well, the now, best advice you ever gave me when you're clipping a bellicoso or a torpedo is start small. Right. It's like a haircut, right? Like, you can always take more oh, off. off. You can't right. take less. So you're uh, like, it's start there. It's, There's yeah, nothing exactly. wrong with there cutting go. a little bit, and then smoke. I use it and say no. I gotta there take you a go, cool. right there. This cutter, okay. Scissors. Yeah, you Frito, like that cutter. With the third, yeah. with, yep, you cut the bellicoso with that 36. And I'll say this. Mel has got an incredible bellicoso with that Mora number two. And so if, if, if that is a very good representation of the blend. And when I smoke it, I use this little little hole, and it cuts it perfect every time. I, I'm going to do at my shop, I'm going to do, uh, uh, I'm going to do something to the fact. I'm going to have the... Um, uh, the next, uh, we got, no, see, I got January, February, I got uh, March, maybe March. I'm going to do a Bellicoso in someone's blend. And I, I really want to educate people on Bellicosos. That's my new, yeah. my new passion, my new, not, mm -hmm. my new, you know, like I'm saying, I've done, I, I've done what I can do with Coronas and Lanceros. Bellicosos are, are just so misunderstood. I don't know if I'm going too far with this, but no, that's how I feel about it. I think there's some great smokes out there. I really do. I truly do. It's well, a, it's Mel, uh, I want to thank you very much for coming mm -hmm. back on our show. I want to thank you very much for our support. Mm -hmm. uh, most importantly, thank you for making fantastic cigars uh, yep. that we love That's to cool. smoke. Uh, the local, nice job. I, I want to say the, a lot, some of the local community here, it's kind of interesting, has gotten turned on to the M Bombay brand. And they're all coming to me. Oh, they're, wow. like, they're like, Paul. Have you have you smoked this M Bombay? I'm like, yeah, dude. Like they sponsor our show. I smoked a ton of their cigars. I'm like, they're really good. That's what I've been telling you guys. And I'm like, yeah, it's really really good. I, I'm like, I, okay, I hope I, Mel. I hope I um, come off in the and and I, I want to be honest with you. Hmm. Um, I really do. A couple of years ago, I tried it, mm -hmm. and I wasn't a fan. You won me over. You you oh. tried it a couple of years ago. Yeah, uh, and I, in the Connecticut wasn't really something I wanted to do with Ecuadorian. This particular cigar I smoked tonight surprised the living shit out of me. Mm. That speaks volumes. Thank you, sir. I tell you, I'm, I'm not, speaks I, volumes. I, I yeah. don't want to. I, I, I like to add. I don't like to subtract. I mean, anyone. I, I, I'll, I'll always say to somebody to try it. I will never right, anyone right, right. To, to, to do that. This this cigar completely surprised me. A great cigar. A completely, Thank completely you. sick. I, I'm, a nice job. Nice job. Thank you, Thank you sir. Oh, Thank I, you. Seriously, I, I've, I'm, wow. I, I, I've got to say that to you. Uh, hats off to you. And, this, and, and the second thing I've got to say is that everybody, I think Dominican tobacco has got a bad rap years ago. Oh, and it's come did. a long way. Uh, I know Nicaraguan tobacco, one of my favorite tobaccos and whatnot. But Dominican tobaccos, to me, uh, are, are one of my favorites. I have to and, say this. But it, it goes back to what Mel was saying, I think, at the beginning of the interview, was uh, when he was talking about, I, I think it was the um, uh, Peruvian tobacco. Like, it depends on how it's fermented. Well, that's for Nicaragua, all tobaccos. It's all tobaccos, right? And it, tobaccos from the Dominican, you get that right anywhere. You get that right fermentation process. They can be fantastic. And I think it got a bad rap because... I think in the boom, people were just cranking out tobacco and not paying sure. as much attention as they should to the fermentation process, and it got a bad rap. Now there's so many different farms, so many different types of tobacco, so many different blenders that are doing fermentation right and producing quality tobacco. It, I'll, you need I'll to play give devil's a advocate for that. I also look at it that there are more cigar geeks that call them Allah. You know what I mean? They, could, they couldn't push that by people anymore. 
Yeah. You're, you're not going to yeah. get that by no, that person. No, that's you, true. You, you, you I think the saying? consumer is all we're educated there, There's now. nothing yeah. better than an educated consumer. Right. So that person who's putting out a good cigar is going to be re- rewarded. Well, and it's interesting. What taught me a lot about that was Tobacconist University mm-hmm. and their job is to educate the consumer right. and the retailer. And, I mean, and the retailer my, first, but now the consumer that's too. That's my most right. important part. I um, I think the internet's important because without the internet, you you, I you think wouldn't have all this collaboration and sharing exactly. of knowledge. Exactly. So right. please, mm-hmm. as you know, I'm a brick and mortar person. Don't get me wrong; that's not what I'm saying. Nothing wrong with I that. Hand certainly. in hand. Yeah. But you know, I, if I can help build a brand, that's important. Mm-hmm. It, it, that's that's what's gonna. It is what it is. But um, anyway, hats off to you. you yeah. You, you that, a, I mean, it's, you're winning over the local good. community, including Stogie Santa. It, it's a it's a true accomplishment here. Uh, in in the local community, so uh, I really enjoyed this cigar a lot. Me too. This Me is my too. second one that I've smoked. I really really like it. Um, I I love the pyramid as well. And and, and the whole thing is, I want to elaborate Great one job. more thing. I'm an old. I'm 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 63 years old, and I can as, as You have a lot more gray in your beard than I do. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, but I'm like 30 years older. So anyway, <laughs> to be honest with you, as you get older, uh, I, health is invo- important to me. So as I get older in life, I can't smoke stronger cigars at night. But but this spice level, yes. uh, this spice spice level right now, mm-hmm. I can deal with. If I get a heavy lejero spice, I'm, uh, next thing I know, I wake up and I'm having nightmares. Gives you agita. Gives you agita. Gives you heartburn. Is it like, oh, yeah, no. but God. It, it is. It, it, it's, it's if true. you want, I think this is really a nice little, it, it's a perfect spice component. Yeah. Hats yeah. off to you. Hats off. Yeah, it's great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Glad oh, it enjoyed really it. is. It, 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 you did a nice job. Um, I had I, I had my trepidations. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, we had this good, conversation. Good. Am I being honest? Or am I being honest with you? No. I you when you come here, I I give you cigars, and I'm like, you need to smoke this, and you kind of give me that look, and you're like, Ugh. because I'm 63. Because you're, cause I you're can't, old. I you don't want to wait. Time. No. I haven't got time for In bad Stokey cigars. In Stokey Sands' defense, he's like, I'm old. I don't have time to smoke a cigar that I'm not going to like. I, so when I, I, I give him new stuff, you, dude, I, you yeah. know something? I'm like my wife. I give you one inch. If you're not done, you're all done. <laughs> <laughs> Coop, get that hand off your face. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, on that awesome. note. <laughs> well, Mel, thank you very much uh, well, for coming you. back on the show. Hey, Again, hey, hey, we talk about everything. Yeah, here, thank so. you for your support. And, Mel, thank um, you very much. Yeah. I'm, I'm very you, pleased to Thank hear you. the reviews of your cigars uh, here in the local community and uh, mm-hmm. Stoker Center as well, which is which is great. So, Mel, yep. thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yep. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Have a good night. Mm-hmm. And with that, okay. we're going to take – thank you. We're going to take a short break, come back, and talk uh, on our oh. debonair ideal segment. Oh, we're going to talk about online cigar communities, which is going to be an interesting one. There's a new one that sprouted up that has its roots right here in Rhode Island. Oh, so – it, cigar Corner, yes, absolutely, and we're going to talk about that and other uh, cigar forums on the internet, so stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Uh, very, I, I'll tell you. It's a really good cigar, right? Um, like I said, I was I had trepidations. I want to be honest. I, didn't, I hope I didn't come off no, the wrong no. way. No, no, I mean, as you should, dude. Uh, you know, I, I want to give a fair and balanced, um, oh, God, I sound like Fox. Um I was, I, I was totally surprised by it.